Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this. I'm Cammie, and this is Cammie's Closet. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming by to check me out. If you're returning, then thank you again for coming back. Today I am doing, um, first I'm going to tell you it's gloomy, it's dark out, I have ring lights. And whenever I have ring lights, the color, the screen blinks like I have neon lights in my room. And it's not, it's just I do my, my video, my filming on a laptop and, and it's pretty old and I don't know how to edit. So basically it is what it is. So hopefully you'll stick around. I have an unboxing today. I've had this um, item to the right of me sitting in my room in my, uh, well, I say room, I have like a, an office off of my living room and I kind of shove all my crap there. It's been there for well over maybe two weeks, maybe even a little, a little longer. Um, so I'm like, I have to unbox this because I don't want it to pass the point of no return. Um, however, usually policies that if you purchase things after a certain time in October, like towards the end of October, a lot of um, stores or boutiques, maybe not boutiques so much, but department stores give you until January because it's their holiday return policy. So I have... Um, a couple of unboxings coming up. I have another one in there that's been sitting there also probably well over three weeks, maybe maybe even a month, because um, I haven't decided if I want to keep it or send it back, but I have until mid-January. So I have time to decide, and hopefully you guys will help me decide. But let's get right into this unboxing. I already opened it. I had to check it out because it was sitting too long. I didn't want to keep um, both both items that I have. It wouldn't look too good if it's sitting for three weeks and then I decide to return it because there's an issue. So after like a week and a half, I said, you know what, let me just open it, make sure that it didn't get uh, waterlogged or, you know, there's no major damage. I didn't open everything, um, but Here's the box, and it is pretty much uh, undone. So I will start immediately and not keep <laughs> procrastinating. I know that annoys some of you. Anyway, this is probably the new edition. And um, again, I see I see the the color in my um, in my screen going wacky. Um, I have two ring lights and a dining room light and high hats and yet the color is still not the same as if I had natural sunlight which there's no sun today so anyway here's the dust bag and here is Versace. I don't own anything from Versace. I never cared for Versace. I think they're kind of a little too busy, gaudy, for lack of a better word. Um, the whole Baroque thing, never liked. The Fendaci, I think, my personal opinion, it's pretty ugly. Um, however, the little ones, like like Gwenny from Styled by, did I say that right? Styled by Gwenny, she has, I think, the mini, the little mini, and it was the um, Fendaci. So adorable, really adorable in small doses, but when it's really big, no, it's just, I, no. And Medusa, creepy, nightmares, snake hair. What were they thinking? So what did I get? Let's see. Don't mind me, I'm constantly licking the, I should just not wear lipstick, but you know, I don't want to look like Morticia always licking lipstick off my teeth or think that there's lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> so, okay. I attached the strap on this because I wasn't sure how to do it and I didn't want to fuss with it in front of the camera for 20 minutes. Behold, La Medusa, top handle, 
not even really sure what it's called, but I will tell you exactly. In gunmetal leather. It's not black. It's just the way my lighting is, so it might come off as black. It's not. It's a dark gunmetal leather with gunmetal hardware. I have the strap attached because it's not a dog leash strap. I'll show it to you closer. Let me show you the bag first. Hopefully you could see how pretty the color is. Hello. It's gunmetal. That's the side. The back. The other side. The bottom, which has leather feet. Not regular metal feet, but leather feet. I've seen that before. And here's an up close of the Medusa head, which I happen to think is cute in the gunmetal. It has a top handle, which is stiff. It doesn't, um, it doesn't uh, lay down. This doesn't have dog leash clasps. It's one of those, hopefully you can see it. You see that? Where you bend it and, and then it, you know, the knob or the little stud gets um, you know pushed into the into the hole so it's removable the strap and adjustable which is interesting because the buckle is towards the end not not in the center so that's that's different not sure why they did it but it's it's fine okay so this bag has a magnetic closure. Hopefully you could see it. And it has this this lip here, if you could see right there. So when this closes, it, it doesn't just snap in, it kind of hooks. So it makes it a little bit more reinforced, which makes it really actually pretty <laughs> strong which i guess is a good security feature right it, it's it's kind of tough but that's okay so inside let's see what we have it comes with another chain strap which i did not open yet let me take out the stuffing there's an interesting story about what i paid for this so don't go away if you care, you know. Um, it has one, it's going to be hard to see because it's dark, but it has a slip pocket in the back. Not huge. Probably a card holder, a small card holder can fit. It has a little um, envelope that it comes with. The actual price tag. Not that that's so important, you have to see. And it has a pretty good capacity. What it, what it looks like it has, the same thing that holds this on, is on the inside, right here, you can see, on both sides. And the bag is gathered here. And there's another adjustment, so I think it's on the second hole. There are two holes. If you adjust that, the bag will close even a little further like that. I don't know if that's just decoration. I don't think it, you know, I would be changing that because it's just such a small amount. Um, maybe just for decoration, but you can. Um, okay, so here's the bag. Very, very pretty leather. My, my filming, my camera is not doing it justice. It's a real metallic, like a dark, dark, dark gray metallic. I don't own a metallic bag. If you guys know me and have been following me, I really try to put thought into my purchases, my expensive purchases. Um, I try to, I look through my collection and I really try to say like, oh, I don't have a black bag with gold hardware, I'll get 
the Fendi bag, <laughs> which I did. You might have seen that unboxing. Um, and then I'll say, well, I already had, the reason I bought that Fendi bag was because I have the puzzle bag with silver hardware, and I did not own a black bag with gold hardware. So this is just how my thought process is. If I'm gonna spend an obscene amount of money on a handbag, it has to be something that I don't already have, or even something that's not very similar. I can't do that. I, I just, I can't have, um, I know some people like to collect like seven different colors of the same exact bag and that's beautiful and I would love to do that but I just can't I, I can't um, I can't do that not with um, not with bags of this price point anyway you know maybe if it was bags that were in the you know more contemporary price point I would do that but I can't with bags of this price point it has to be extremely unique and one of a kind in my closet, gunmetal, metallic, nothing like it, gunmetal hardware, nothing, nothing like it. Um, yes, this is that snake haired woman, which I think is a little creepy, but it looks okay in the gunmetal. I'll give you another closer look. Kind of pretty. Anyway, this bag comes with a chain and I am going to remove the chain right here for all of you to see. It, um, when I felt it just now, it felt really light. Usually chains on handbags when they're substantial, like, are, are like heavy and, and I don't know, I'm not an expert on material. So is it possible, this, this chain, let me show you up close, very pretty, dog leash, it's really very pretty, but it's very light, and I don't know if that is because, oh, Versace found a way to use light material, which is great, or it's poor quality and chintzy, and the same kind of chain you're gonna find on Amazon for $26. Um, if anyone knows, you know, let me know because I would be real disappointed if Versace used a chain that's gonna, you know, that the metal's gonna peel in like a week. Um, but it is a very pretty chain, it's really pretty. Now, I'm going to show I'm going to throw in a few things. This is my glass case just quickly to show you what fits in here. My phone obviously it's a nice capacity. My phone I'm going to say full full eyeglass case. My Gucci. Now I don't know if it's I know they make different sizes of this handbag. Um, I would say this is a mini but it's definitely not like mini mini or anywhere near micro. It, you know, my whole Gucci key cases in here, my phone and a full eyeglass case and zippy wallet. And my zippy wallet goes right in. I just, my phone is laying flat. Let me just, it should be standing, you know, it should be side, you know, up, up, upright. <laughs> Uh, it's early. I can't speak right now. It should be upright. Um, my Amazon bougie six dollar lipstick case. I love this thing. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, and I oh yeah, I keep my little lipstick liner, lip liner, in there because it's so tiny. Um, it's not a lip liner. It's actually, I'll do a separate video on the makeup I use. This is actually, I believe, Maybelline's um, eyeliner. Might be even the brow. I use it as a lip liner. I've been using this as a lip liner for, I don't know, 20 years. <laughs> it works. Anyway, I digress. Sorry. All of this, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it goes in. So this is a really good capacity. I'm going to close it and I'm going to do mod shots before I put the chain on 
Now I'm looking at this and the D-ring has the strap and it and and there's leather here. There doesn't doesn't seem to be much room to attach this very thick dog chain. Where I don't see where else you would put this chain if you want the chain to drape. Sorry, I'm making noise. Like if you want the chain to drape, I don't I don't see where else you would put it. Um hmm, that's interesting. Well, let me show you how the bag looks. This, this is definitely not a crossbody. This is a shoulder strap. It's not long enough to be a crossbody. So let me show you how the bag looks, you know, with the leather strap on. And then I'm going to see if I can attach the chain strap to that. I mean, I don't know, you know, where would you... I don't think it's going to fit, but I'm going to try it. Hang on, guys. Let me just move my chair out of the way. Okay. So... This is, it has one, two, three, four, five, five adjustments on the strap. It's on the center, and this is, you know, just on my shoulder. I, I wouldn't, you know, wear it like this, but I'm just showing you on the center adjustment. And I'm five, one, if you don't know me, small frame. And this is crossbody. It's a really cute bag. Very cute. What do you think? Nice? Very cute bag. I'm hoping you could see like the metallic, the shine, because that's the whole point. I didn't buy the bag because it was going to look black. It really, truly has a true metallic, dark gray, metallic look. So hopefully you see that. Okay. It has a top handle, so you could carry a top handle. Strap doesn't drag on the floor. Cute, very cute. It's not, I'm gonna do all the measurements down below. This I'm gonna say is maybe about three and a half, four inches just from looking, but I'm not sure. I could put it, I can put it on my forearm. I can carry it in the crook of my arm. But I have very thin arms, um, and I'm not wearing a big, heavy, thick jacket. I don't know if this will fit if I'm wearing like a winter jacket, like a heavy jacket. It might not. Um, but there's a plenty of months in the year that it's not winter, so I can carry it in the crook of my arm. So if you're thin, if you have very thin forearms, you won't have a problem cro uh, crook of the arm. <laughs> Okay, very cute. There's a story to this bag, a big story to this bag. I'm showing you the dust bag because there's a story behind how I got such a great price. Versace has been on sale um, probably since like the week of Thanksgiving. Literally, some of their items, their bags, other things too probably, have been almost half price. Um, and I don't know if it's because nobody likes it and they don't, they don't sell. I, I don't know. Almost half price. Not just, you know, not just 10% off, 20% off, but 40, 50% off on a lot of their handbags in the department stores. Um, I, I didn't look on the Versace site, so I don't know. Um, but I purchased this bag at, I don't even know. Where did I purchase this bag? Where's my thing? Neiman Marcus. Okay. I'm going to... I don't see... I don't think... This is weird. It, something... It doesn't fit on here. Very comfortably. And I really don't want to scratch up. Yeah, weird. Look how this, this went on. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit on the D-ring with the leather strap. 
at the same time. So where are you? If you want to have the strap and you want to use this as, um, look, it's getting tangled. Okay, maybe this is why they're on sale because they're not made well. I don't know. Um, this doesn't fit on here at the same time. If there's no room, and I don't see any other place to attach this chain. Oh, good, it unraveled. <laughs> I, wh where else would this be attached? You're definitely not going to attach it to the top. No, it doesn't fit on the top handle. Where the hell are you going to put this? Isn't that strange? So, I don't know. I'm going to say that you have to choose whether to use this strap or this. And you can't have them attached to the bag both at the same time. If anybody has the La Medusa top handle, I'm not sure what else it's called. <laughs> Keep doing this. Let me put my glasses on for a minute because I'm going to I'm going to start to get anxious and I'm going to throw the bag across the room. Yeah, it's called the La Medusa Top Handle Small. That's all it's called. So I guess you can't wear this at the same time. Okay. Let me take I put the strap on because I wasn't sure how to do it and I didn't want to sit here for 30 minutes doing that. Anyway, this bag, the strap is on really tight. Hmm. I want to show you how it looks with the chain, but I have to get the strap off. You know, it's one of those where you have to slide it up to the hole and then pull it out. And it's really um, in there pretty tight. And I am not, I'm not going to fight with this thing. Because my nails are, oh, okay, I got, I got one. <laughs> Crazy. Maybe this is why I got such a good price, because... Not easy. Maybe I'm going to go off camera over there and rip it off. <laughs> I don't want you to see that. Okay, I got it. It's a little hard. You know, it's one of those that go into the hole. You know, I'm, I'm glad it's tight and it won't fall off, but it's a little bit hard to get on and off. I want to see how this looks, because obviously you can't put them both on at the same time. So this chain was not made to be decorative. As I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you, okay, so here's the chain. I mean, it's very pretty. I guess if you're holding it top handle it'll hang kind of long some people like it long some people prefer that it just kind of hangs right by the bottom of the bag but okay let's say you're going to take it out and you're going to leave the strap the leather strap home so you can carry it like that let me show you quick top handle crook of the arm if you have thin enough wrists or shoulder this is definitely made for the shoulder There we go. It's good. It's a good it's a good length for me. I don't know how the shoulder will be. See this? This is almost not quite by my armpit, but almost like maybe two inches below the armpit, and I'm five one and I'm short waisted actually. So this might go up too high for someone who's wider than me, broader, 
and much taller. So for me, it's a it's a good it's a good length. It works for me. I'm a little bit um, not concerned. I don't know, for lack of a better word, why you can't put both straps on at the same time. Like the D-ring should have been bigger um, or there should have been two D-rings on each side. But I guess they're just giving you a second option. So I think the bag is beautiful. Again, I know nothing about the brand. I really don't know about the quality. So if anyone knows Versace and has had experience with Versace, let me know if you think I made a good purchase. Let me bend this a little so you can look at the bag. You don't want to look at me. Let me tell you what I paid. I have to tell you what I paid for this because this bag retails for $23.25, 2000 yeah, $2,325. No way, not happening. I would never, never, never buy a Versace bag for $2,300. I wasn't, I, I, I didn't even look at it. Then all of a sudden I started seeing the sales. It was on sale for... $1,138. That's huge. That's um like half price. $1,138. But wait, it gets better. I opened the box because it was sitting for too long. I wanted to make sure everything was okay with the bag. And when I saw the turned it around, the dust bag had pen mark on it. It was there when I got it. So if anyone's thinking, oh, take a pen mark, you know, uh, if you're a really good customer and you buy a lot from Neiman Marcus, you might get away with that. But I'm, you know, like honest Abe. I, I, it came like that. Some kind of green marker. So right away, I'm looking at the back of the bag, like, oh shit, is there a marker on the bag? And so that's why I actually took out the entire bag because I saw that and I said, oh my God, there's something wrong with the bag. Nothing's wrong with the bag, nothing got on the bag, nothing at all, right? But I call Neiman Marcus because I say, marker on my dust bag. The dust bag alone is worth $500, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's a $2,300 bag and it comes with marker. Somebody was careless and got marker on the dust bag. I said, and, and um, I embellished a little bit. I said, I'm giving this as a gift and there's no more available. It's, it was the last one or maybe the last two. It's not available. So what, what's gonna happen? I'd like a little compensation. You know, I was hoping maybe they would give me like $75, $100 back, which would have been okay with, I would have been okay with that. <laughs> so the woman puts, gets her supervisor on the phone. I explain what I have, what, what I saw, what I have. I'm like, would you like me to take a picture? I'll send a picture. I have no problem with that. She goes, no, that's okay. We'd like to offer you $250 back on the bag if you keep it. I said, okay, I will keep it. <laughs> 250 additional dollars off and through Rakuten, 10%. So the bag with tax came to, what did it come to? I have it written, $1,239 less the original price, which was 1138 So I get 113 back from Rakuten. So that brings it down to that I'm paying, oh my God, did you hear my stomach growl? I didn't eat breakfast yet. I paid 1,146, getting back the 10% from Rakuten. You guys, if you're not a member, it's free. Just uh, sign up for Rakuten. It, it's worth it if you make expensive purchases. Then the additional $250 off. 
So this bag with tax and everything came to $896. The original retail price was $2,325. $2,325 and I paid tax, shipping, handling, everything, $896. So if the chains don't fit at the same time, Got a little marker on the dust bag, 896. Do I send this back? I mean, in the grand scheme, we know that $800 for a handbag is obscene, um, unnecessary, and ridiculous money. But for the luxury community and for what we spend, is that not the most amazing deal of the century. Unless of course somebody knows something and Versace is a crappy brand. I don't know. Tell me. What's the quality? Are they, you know, is it worth it? They were kind of on the down low for a while and then all of a sudden they do a collab with Fendi and boost all their sales and there they are up close and personal with everybody again. Hopefully they won't do any bondage commercials, you know, because I, you listen, I'm about ready to stop buying luxury handbags because I can't afford to buy a bag and then have to have it sit in my closet because they made, you know, some stupid decision and, you know, I can't do that. And eventually, every designer house does something stupid. It just, it goes without saying. So anyway, I hope you liked my video. I hope you like this bag. Tell me what you think about Versace. Is, is it a good brand? Did I get an amazing deal? Or are they only worth $800? Uh, you know, I, I, what do you think? It's, uh, it's really pretty. It's a very lightweight bag. It has like everything in it right now. Um, more than I normally carry. It's pretty lightweight. It's pretty. Um, the chain feels very light. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Is this chain going to fall apart in a year? Is the paint going to come off? You know, I have an issue when things are a different color and not, you know, just plain silver or gold. And even gold rubs off. We know that. Louis Vuitton gold rubs off. <laughs> so, you know, I, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Was, was, this, was this a good purchase? Was, is this a right, you know, right? Do I keep it? I think it's beautiful. And I, I, I thought at this price, there's, there's no way I could not keep this bag. I, I love it. I love it. So anyway, have a great Sunday, and I will see you guys next week with another unboxing. Yes, I've been very, very bad. Bye.